I used a glass mouse pad in Valorant for 30 days, and here is what happened. Oh, you're cold, Judgment. What the hell? One more. One more. One enemy remaining. experience with the glass pad, I want to give a big thanks to this video sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN is a virtual private network that keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all of the information sent between your device and the internet, and this keeps your personal data like passwords and private information safe from certain companies and online criminals. This VPN swaps the location of your device with a new one, basically changing your IP address so you can virtually travel to any country. This is useful for allowing you to access certain shows that might not be available in your country. As you can see, after activating Surfshark, certain shows you had no access to are now readily available to view. I think Surfshark's biggest feature is most definitely the ability to mask your IP. Especially for someone like me who is on the internet all day, certain websites can steal your information and having Surfshark for this is a lifesaver. I don't know about you, but I'd prefer to keep my money in my pockets. If you want to stay safe on the internet and even enjoy yourself by being able to view content you might not have been able to before, be sure to check out Surfshark VPN. You can use my link in the description to get 83% off plus an extra three months free of Surfshark. And just a 30 day money back guarantee, so there's no risk of trying it out if you're curious just what it might be like. Link in the description to their website once again. And I want to thank Surfshark for sponsoring this video, and let's get right back into it. So let me explain how I got around to doing this. A while ago, I was given a Skypad to try it out because I knew a guy who knew a guy who knew a guy and blah blah blah, right? I got it about six months ago and then I decided to try it out. Then I immediately stopped using it. It was so fast. I had never used a hard pad before, let alone a glass pad, and I was skating all over the place. I was missing the easiest shots ever. I couldn't accurately micro adjust like I could before, and there was just no resistance. And all of this made me have a really bad headshot percentage. I was a mess. The worst I've been since I played back in beta, and I was miserable. I decided to put the sky pad away because it was just way too fast for me, and I went right back to my old mouse pad. You're probably thinking, well, Judgment, why the hell would I want this then? This clearly sounds like a horrible investment, which is exactly what I said six months ago. Fast forward to recently when Skypad had dropped their new limited edition pad, the Sora pad, and me, being an absolute simp for anime girls, I know, cringe, was like, I need that. So I went to talk to my guy that knew a guy that knew a guy so he could hook me up. But until I got that response, I went to the closet and took out the Skypad once more after six long months of completely removing those horrible memories of my terrible aim. I have to learn it. I gotta use a sword pad when I get it, so I have to learn this. It looks it looks too good. I, I I have to, I have to. So I decided no matter what, I was gonna master this pad. This demon that made me whiff all of my shots and cry myself to sleep every night. And it wasn't easy. Days one through four, I was an absolute mess. I was going through so many thoughts in my head. Am I even a radiant player? Have I always just sucked this bad? Maybe I have to change my sense. Maybe my mouse? Uh, what about like, I don't know, my freaking monitor. Maybe I don't know what to do. There's just, what's the problem? It just, it just can't be me. There's no way. It just, it, there's no way. I was losing my mind. My chat hearing me rant daily about me sucking, but they always managed to calm me down and tell me things take time. And they were so very right. I didn't change my sense. I stayed loyal and gave it time. There's only one way to rapidly improve and get better at something, and it's to do it over and over again and do research on the subject. So naturally as one does, that's exactly what I did. I began to research aim routines for certain drills to refine my aim and adjust the intense speed that this pad offered. I was working on my micro adjustments the most as for a game like Valorant, when I'm holding an angle and I need a small precise flick to get these easy headshots, that was just not possible in my current state. So I practiced over and over. I queued 10 to 20 death matches a day over and over just to adjust. I had to adjust. I wouldn't touch ranked until I felt I was at least somewhat more comfortable than I was before. My hand was starting to cramp really bad as I was just trying too hard to grip my mouse and compensate for the control that I was missing. So I had to do like little hand stretches 
every like five minutes or so between my aim drills just to kind of let my muscles untense a little bit. I began telling myself to grip the mouse not as intense and to relax my arm and hand. And if I had tensed up too much, my range of motion would be limited and I wouldn't be able to aim as good. It's important to be comfortable when you're aiming and it should never hurt or discomfort you. And with this in mind, on the third to fourth day, it ached less and less until the sensation was gone and I was back to my normal grip. Days five to seven were good. I was beginning to vibe with the pad. My flicks had become more accurate. Not how I was before with my old pad, but I was noticing I was getting very comfortable with the pad and it felt good to see my progress after all that mental torment I put myself through. But seeing the small results gave me hope to keep improving. Then day eight came. Keep in mind that I had kept looking at YouTubers for how to improve my aim, whether it was drills or mental states, anything I could get my hands on to improve. I was always reading about it or doing research about it to get better. That's when I came across someone else who reviewed the Skypad and gave their opinion on a mouse that helped them personally get through the Skypad, the Hadi HSK Plus. So naturally, I looked into it, got myself one, and today was the day I got it. Day 8. I swapped to the new mouse and it felt right in my claw grip and I was hooked on it. It was a new learning curve as getting adjusted to the size and weight, but it felt just right in my hand. I was excited. Days 9 to 16, I had gotten used to the mouse decently enough and the pad was feeling so natural now. I still had plenty of room for improvement, but being able to stop my mouse was very easy now that I have a feeling for how much force I have to put to stop my mouse. I decided to take my aim training even further, and I had to go to one of the best aimers that I could think of. Just one of the goats, just somebody that I've looked up to in the past and that I just like, I want aim like that. So, that being said, I headed over to Furious's channel, Furious CS. One of the best aimers I could think of. Let me try out his drills and really discipline myself as I felt Valorant deathmatches were good, but I wanted to not just have good aim. I wanted to have the best aim I've ever had in my career. Here's a clip from Furious's channel just to show you what I wanted my aim to be like. I had made some tweaks to Furious's playlist, but this is basically what I did every day for about 15 to 30 minutes. First, I would do 180 flicks between bots, and each time I would counter strafe. Then I would do counter strafing flicks, to both left and right. Then I would do two tapping between bots. And then finally, I would do the aim bots challenge, which is basically just sitting in this position right here and clicking between every single bot, and I have to kill 100. After this, I would go and play Counter-Strike Headshot only DM lobbies for about 10-ish minutes. And then I would go to Valorant and I would play 1-2 to two death matches doing Deagle, Guardian, and Vandal. Day 17 to 30 was really just me honing in on the pad and getting used to the aim routine before each comp grind. The pad was great. I was able to know how much force to put into a flick or tracking to be incredibly accurate and my shots felt so much faster and more precise. This could be because of my rigorous warm-up that I'd never done in the past, but even still, I felt as though with the sky pad, it was more of my pure aim than a pad potentially stopping me and more my actual body stopping itself. My headshot percentage is now in the close to 30s before being at 20% consistently act after act after act, and my stats are kind of insane at the moment, at least compared to my previous mediocre or average stats. Now comes the question, are glass pads the way to go? Let me establish some things first. First off, this pad will not make you radiant. If you were bronze or gold or a senate, whatever you may be, I am not saying that this pad is going to make you a god amongst men. Now that that's out of the way, secondly, let's talk about some pros and cons to using the pad if you decide to pick it up. Pros to this pad, in my opinion, are there's no resistance. So tracking in games such as Apex and Overwatch, etc. is smooth and seamless. The pad is good quality in terms of the glass feels consistent always, no matter what side of it I'm on, even the sides that my mouse barely interacts with. What I mean by this is if I'm playing on the middle left of the pad all the time, and I occasionally need to flick to the right of the surface, it feels pretty much identical and not like a smoother glass due to me never hitting that side of my pad. It's easy to maintain and I don't have to clean it every 2-3 to three months like my cloth pad. This thing is like a new pad every time I use it, and if I need to clean it, which I do about every day or two, all I do is spray some glass cleaner on it and wipe it down. 
With the previous point in mind, this means that it's long lasting and it has no wear since, well, it's made of glass. Now for the cons. The cons of this pad in my experience are small, but can kind of be annoying, so it might not be for everyone. First, I would say you need a sleeve to play. Keep in mind, this is in my experience, but I use a gaming sleeve since my hands tend to sweat a lot, and I also live in Florida, so it gets very hot here. I need a sleeve to keep my hand from sticking to the pad and allow the glide to be smooth. This isn't an issue for me, as I played with a sleeve prior, but to some, they might not like to play with it, so I'm gonna be leaving it there. If you do not pick up a sleeve, your hand will most likely stick to the pad, and in that case, maybe just try picking up a microfiber cloth and wiping it down after each time you die in Valorant. And secondly, the tiniest thing that gets under your mouse, you will feel it. I have very long hair, so sometimes a loose hair will fall to my pad and my mouse goes over it, and I can feel it. Every little swipe will let me know, there is a hair under your mouse, move it now. This can be annoying for some people, but even for me, it happens pretty rarely, and it doesn't bother me that much. There's all the pros and cons in my experience with the Skypad. Now, the real question. Is the Skypad the way to go? Is it for me? And I think there's no easy way to answer it for every type of player. Not a hard yes, not a hard no. However, if we break it down to players in certain groups, then it can be easier to answer. Also, keep in mind, this is for a game like Valorant, where stop precision is more important than tracking. For people that are very casual gamers, and I mean maybe Valorant is your first FPS, or you play one game a day or for an hour, I would probably pass on a fast pad like this, as it does take some practice to get used to. If you don't mind the challenge to learn how to control your aim, I would say go for it. But if you just want to have a good time and be somewhat consistent at the times that you do play, the little times that you do play, stick to a cloth pad and have a good time. For an avid gamer, I'd say about three to six hours a day, this pad can be really fun. As I said, there is a steep learning curve to it. You will suck and you will not like it most likely. And you have to understand that. But should you take the time to learn it, it can be a blast to use and maybe one of your favorite pads once you get past the learning curve. For someone more in my lane that plays a lot of games, four to eight games a day at a high level, semi-professional level, professional level, this pad will be hard to learn, give it its time, and it might be your end game, as it's incredibly rewarding, I believe, for the more time that you put into it to really tame the pad. As I've said before, it is a very steep learning curve, but once you get past it, I can see it becoming maybe your favorite pad. Hopefully, if you're in one of those groups, I gave you an answer through my experience. And I wanted to share this video about the Skypad since I really had a good time adjusting to the pad and really fell in love with it. I think this will be my end game pad as the surface will last me forever and remain consistent. So now just comes the time for me to put several more months into it and to see if my aim gets even better. Again, I want to reiterate that I'm not saying this pad will give you aimbot or anything if you keep trying to use it more and more, but I imagine it works this way. If the pad is always the same surface over and over, there's no dirt buildup like other cloth pads, I imagine that there's nothing to slow you down. So that being said, you can always have the same muscle memory since hypothetically, the surface is always the same, so your body will always aim the same because you're on the exact same surface every single time. But that's just my idea of how it works. I'm going to give it some more time and hey, maybe I'll let you guys know how I'm holding up with it. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let me know if you wanted more test videos like this, as this is my first time making a video like this. Um, and I had a really good time making it. So please leave me any feedback that you guys have in the comments for me. And I want to let you guys know that I streamed every single day of my testing with the pad over on twitch.tv forward slash judgment underscore NA, where you guys can find me live basically every single day, link in the description. I'm a Radiant player who does coaching, gameplay, and sometimes some variety. And I would love to have you guys come hang out with me. If you ever do want a notification for when I'm live, be sure to join the Discord, link in the description as well, discord.gg forward slash judge, and you can hang out with the community. It's a great time, and I'd love to see you guys there. Anyways, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching the video once again, and I'll see you guys around.